This is a Rubik's Cube. Can you solve it? How about now? This is so cool. How did you make this? But to understand why she can see two Rubik's Cubes, who this man is, now he made the perfect algorithm. We need to go back nine years when I was just six years old. As you can see, I've had some memorable experiences with Rubik's Cube. And to ensure that my sister doesn't suffer the same fate, I'm gonna make an AR game that allows non-cubers to solve Rubik's Cube. And if you don't make a game in two days, I will scramble all of these cubes and you need to solve them. What? It is currently 8.30 p.m. How the heck am I gonna make this game in two days? Well, I have a trick up my sleeve. Now you could say it's cheating to download an already existing Rubik's Cube, but my sister never said I could. I'm still filled with some guilt though, so I'm gonna use part of this time to explain how the program works. Oh, and before we move on, massive shout out to Megalobile for making these amazing tutorials. Our Rubik's Cube is made up of 27 smaller pieces, or cuboids. Once combined, these cuboids work in such a way so that the layers of the big cube can be turned. Now this is cool and all, but how do we make a computer actually solve one of these cubes? We'll break it down into two steps. Reading the scramble, then applying an algorithm to solve the scramble. But how do we get the scramble of the cube? It would be difficult for a computer to gather data about a 3D object. So we've unfolded the cube into a 2D plane called the cube map. From here, the computer can gather data about each individual square of the cube map, and therefore read the scramble. That, however, was the easy bit. This is Herbert Kosiemba. He's a German mathematician, an old chap, and found God's number. No, not that number, this number. The maximum number of moves it takes to solve a Rubik's Cube. But before I tell you this number, we need to know how this algorithm works. Because, uh, uh... This algorithm is broken down into two steps. The first step is to take the scrambled cube and turn it into this cube. All the corners and edges have the same orientation, while the middle edges are in the middle. This is step number one of the Kosiemba algorithm. The second step is to solve it. But here's the catch. You can only use this specific move set. You, for example, need to turn the cube up. So why do these weird rules matter at all? Apparently, computers use this method to get the optimal solution to solve any given scramble into a solved state. This will make it so that the user who actually plays the game can solve the cube fast. And if you're wondering, the maximum number of moves it takes to solve a Rubik's Cube is 20. With 26 hours remaining, we need to port the game to augmented reality. But hold on, what is augmented reality? And how will it help my sister solve a Rubik's Cube? Take this room for example. It looks pretty empty, but when I click... Augmented reality is the technology that adds digital objects to your surrounding. Of course, this creeper isn't real, but augmented reality allows us to place one in our room. Oh, and by the way, these clips are from this video. You should definitely check it out. By using this technology, the user can place a virtual Rubik's Cube beside the real one, allowing them to actually see the move they need to make right on their desk. So porting the game to AR should be pretty easy, right? I just hit this button and... Oh, dude, this thing is giant. Oh my god. What the... <laughs> Oh my gosh! Dude, this thing is huge! This is me for reference. Oh, I can turn it! Pretty freaking big Rubik's Cube. Scale down. Whoa! Whoa! Shuffle. Oh! Can you guys see this? Now solve it. Yes! Yes! With five hours left, the final step to complete this project is getting the scramble from the real Rubik's Cube. Originally, I wanted to use some fancy image recognition software, but then it dawned on me. I have no idea how to get the scramble, and time is running out. It is currently 4.28 p.m. 6 p.m. Oh, stress! <laughs> Two hours left, boys. I am really starting to feel the pressure. I am melting, bro. Why? One hour left. There's still a long way to go. Oh, why? Okay, this could work. Three, two, one. GG. I couldn't. And although it's pretty sad that I couldn't finish the game in time, I don't want to disappoint you guys. So the following morning, I ditched the custom scramble and decided to be content with a free program scramble. And although it definitely wasn't ideal or practical, at least the program applies to one of the 43 quintillion scrambles out there. Which leads us to this moment. The game is finished. Does it work though? Uh, I guess there's only one way to find out. <sighs> I really hope this works. Three, two, one. This is a Rubik's Cube. Can you solve it? How about now? Come on, it's working, guys. Oh my gosh, my heart's pounding right now. She's solving the Rubik's Cube. 
Please, 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 please,